Good morning, friends. In the last video, we have discussed about the inner joints. Now, in this video, we will discuss about outer joints. The outer joints are classified into three types. One is left outer joint, right outer joint, and full outer joint. Then, even I will explain the difference between what is the inner joint and outer joint. First, let me explain what is the difference between inner joint and outer joint. In the inner joint, if you see that when it comes to the natural joint or equi joint, what are the tuples which are satisfying the conditions? Those tuples only will come as an output. Okay. In some cases, whatever the examples we have taken, we got even zero tuples also when we are applying the condition. Now, when it comes to the outer joint, we will check whether the two relations are satisfying the condition. So, what are the tuples which are satisfying the condition? They will also come and the tuples which are not satisfying the condition also come. How it will come, we will check it. Is it clear? When it comes to the inner joint, what are the tuples which are satisfied will come. Whereas in outer joint, the tuples which are satisfying the condition will come. And few tuples which are not satisfied the condition, they will also come. How? We will discuss now. So that is the basic difference between inner joint and outer joint. So as we said that outer joint is three types one is left outer joint right outer joint and full outer joint so first we will discuss about what is a left outer joint left outer joint usually will be represented like this because you have a joint operator okay as it is a left outer joint you keep the symbol to the left hand side that's all okay so that's why left outer joint will be represented with a condition r dot a is equal to s dot b meaning is that uh, you are applying the left outer joint between the two relations and the two attributes with attribute A which is belongs to relation R attribute D which is belongs to relation S okay now if you see that if I do this what are the tuples which are satisfying the condition so how many attributes you will get in the R natural joint I means R left outer joint because first you need to apply the Cartesian product Cartesian product will give me if you have m attributes in the relation r and you have n attributes meaning is that the degree of r is m and degree of s is m then r cartesian product s will give you the degree as m plus m so in my case it is 2 and 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 so i got 4 attributes so a b d e not c d it is a b d e attributes will come okay so what are they I will come so now we will see the result. Now R dot A is equal to S dot B. Meaning is that A and D should be equal. Here they are equal. So you will get 1, 2, 1, 5. Is it clear? First we will apply the condition cross product. Then you will get 1, 2, 1, 5, 1, 2, 7, 6, 3, 4, 1, 5, 3, 4, 7, 6. How the Cartesian product will work? We have already discussed. So join operator is nothing but First apply the cross product, on top of that one you apply the selection with the given condition, okay. So if I apply the Cartesian product, I will get the four tuples, meaning is that this tuple with the combination of these tuples and this tuple with the combination of these tuples, so you will get four tuples. So directly I am applying the, even the selection. So what is that? R dot A is equal to S dot B. Here you have one and here you have one, so this tuple will be selected. You have 1 and you have 7 here. 1 and 7 are not equal. So this combination will not come. Now you have 3, 4, 1, 5. 3 is not equal to 1. So this combination will not come. 3 and 7 are not equal. So even this combination also will not come. So only one tuple is satisfied the condition. If it is an inner joint, like a equi-join or whatever. So it, as it is an equi-join, I can say that it is equi-join which is equal. It is not a natural joint because A and D are two different attribute names. So it is not a natural joint. So I can say that if it is an equi joint, okay, then this is the output. As it is a left outer joint, what is the output we will discuss, okay. Now if you see that, what are the tuples which are left in the left table? Please remember, left in the left relation, meaning is that you have two relations, relation R and relation S. Yes. Which is the left hand side, R is in the left hand side, S is in the right hand side. So, as it is a left outer joint, you identify the tuples 
which are left in the relation R. 3 and 4 means the tuple, this tuple is not satisfying the condition. So this tuple is left in the relation R. So write the tuple 3 and 4. Is it clear? As 3 and 4 is not satisfying with any of them, you will write the null values here. Because they are not satisfied. Is it clear? Let me repeat again. First you will write the all the tuples which are satisfying the condition. Then as it is a left outer join, you identify the tuples which are left in the relation R. So 3, 4 combination, this tuple is left. So you write that one and mention the null values. Okay, so this is the output for left outer join. Okay, I hope you have understood what is the left outer join and what is the output if you apply on this an example. So now we will discuss about right outer join. Okay, how it will be represented as? Okay, on the same condition I will apply. Okay. So it is a right outer join r dot a is equal to s dot d so this is the tuple which is satisfying the condition now as it is a right outer join find the tuples which are left in the relation s yes. 7 and 6 the tuple which is not satisfying the condition so this tuple is left so you mention that one 7 and 6 here and mention the null values in the for the a and b values Okay, so this is the right outer join. Let me discuss again. First, you will apply Cartesian product. If you apply the Cartesian product between the two relations R and S, you will get A, B, D, E attributes. What are the attributes are there in both the relations A, B, D, E? All the attributes will come in the Cartesian product. And then you are applying the selection. So if you are applying the selection, then you will get the tuples which are satisfying this condition. So what is the condition? A is equal to D, meaning is that 1 is equal to 1, so this tuple will come. 1 is not equal to 7, so it will not come. 3 is not equal to 1, so it will not come. 3 is not equal to 7, so even this tuple will not come. Out of the 4 combinations, you will get 1 tuple as an output. Now as it is a right outer join, you identify what are the tuples which are left in the relation S. Yes. You already 1 and 5 combination came. Now 7, 6 combination not came in the output so you mentioned 7 and 6 values as it is not satisfying the condition so a and b values you mention as a null value so this is about the right outer join let me discuss about what is full outer join so full outer join is nothing but a combination of both left and right outer join so that's why i will mention as left outer join and also right outer join meaning is that symbol is join operator left and right if it is only left outer join i will mention like this if it is only right outer join i will mention this one okay as it is a full outer join i can say that it is a left and right outer join so that's why i have mentioned the symbol like this now check this one I am applying the same condition. So what are the tuples which are satisfying the condition? Only this tuple is satisfying the condition 1, 2, 1, 5. Now you need to identify what are the tuples which are left in the relation R. 1, 2 already came so 3, 4 did not came. Okay. So you write the tuple and mention the null values here. And then identify what are the tuples which are left in the relation S. Yes, 7, 6 was left. So you mention here and the A and B values you mention it as null. So this is the output of full outer join. So I hope you have understood how the all the outer joints are working and what is the difference between inner joints and outer joints. So we have discussed about left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. Is it clear? So I hope with this video you have understood about the outer joints okay and i request everyone to go through my all my videos in a sequence for better understanding if you really like my videos please press the like button and if you want to give any suggestions either it is a positive feedback or negative feedback positive feedback means so this lecture is good or 
this video means what are the example you have taken it is good so you please mention them if you mention the positive feedback then i will be like very happy and it will motivate me further to teach well if you want to give any suggestions sir instead of one example you should have taken two examples or in this of instead of this example if you would have taken this example it would have been benefit for the students if you want to give those suggestions please mention them in the comment section of the youtube and if you really like the videos and if you want to share with your friends please do it fast because they also are missing and they may be also interested to learn the dbms please share the videos with them so that they will also learn and subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you so much